Oh, yes, madame. We have all types of traveling bags for men with zippers. Thank you very much. I'm just doing a little window shopping for my husband. He'll be here tomorrow. Well, I'll be delighted to serve him, madame. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, madame. Black Friday has come and gone, but there's always more shopping to do. You might be doing it online or at Target or at Walmart, but don't you sometimes wish that there was a retail experience that was a little more civilized, a little more elegant, like, say, the shop around the corner? In Ernst Lubitsch's splendid 1940 romantic comedy, the shop is located in Budapest. This may seem quite unlikely given that the stars of the movie are Margaret Sullivan, Jimmy Stewart, and Frank Morgan, none of whom seems particularly Hungarian. You're not only a genius, you're a mind reader. No, Mr. Marshall. Never mind. Uh, but realism is beside the point in classic Hollywood check. films like this one. Lubitsch had come to Hollywood from Germany, and so the Central European setting of this movie had a real personal resonance for him. When Shop Around the Corner was made, the society it represented was on the brink of total destruction. This threat is never acknowledged by any of the characters, but rather it fills the film with a bittersweet sense of nostalgia. I work there. Oh. I'm looking for a job. Oh, no, no, that's impossible. It's, it's out of the question. No, I, I have no time, no time. I'm very busy. I'm very sorry. I'm afraid you're just wasting your time. The shop is a lively and often contentious little world unto itself. Its ruler is the sometimes grouchy, sometimes kindly Mr. Matichek, played by Frank Morgan, who you might know better as the Wizard of Oz. No, 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 no. It's not the price. It's just that I, I'm not quite sure about the whole idea. I, yes. Yes, Mr. McClush. What? You can't expect me to make up my mind in five minutes. Well, if that's the case, then I'll have to say no. Uh, sorry. Among Mr. Matashek's employees are the anxious Mr. Vadas, the sharp-tongued saleswoman, Flora, and the delivery boy, Peppy. You wouldn't like to speak by any chance to Mr. Vadas. <laughs> that got her. Draw your own conclusions. But most important are Clara Novak and Alfred Kralik, played by Margaret Sullivan and James Stewart in one of the great screen love stories of all time. Miss Novak. Yes, Mr. Kralik? Uh, I noticed that you wore a yellow blouse with light green dots yesterday. No, Mr. Kralik. As usual, you were mistaken. It was a green blouse with light yellow dots. And everybody else thought it very becoming. And I don't remember ever remarking about your neckties. And believe me, Mr. Kralik, if you think I couldn't say anything about your neckties, just ask Mr. Varish. So please leave my blouse alone. It's none of your business. At work, they're always at each other's throats and in each other's faces. But after work, they carry on a passionate written correspondence, though neither one is aware of the true idea identity of their special pen pal. My heart was trembling as I walked into the post office, and there you were lying in box 237. I took you out of your envelope and read you, read you right there. Oh, my dear friend. Does that sound familiar? Well, that may be because Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan did the exact same thing in the 1998 remake of Shop Around the Corner that was called You've Got Mail. And even when they aren't obvious remakes, most romantic comedies obey the logic set down in The Shop Around the Corner. The path to true love must pass through conflict, hostility, and misunderstanding. You know, people seldom go to the trouble of scratching the surface of things to find the inner truth. Well, I really wouldn't care to scratch your surface, Mr. Crowley, because I know exactly what I'd find. Instead of a heart, a handbag. Instead of a soul, a suitcase. And instead of an intellect, a cigarette lighter, which doesn't work. Well, that's very nicely put. But is this how love really is? Well, yes and no. It is true that hard feelings are part of the experience of love and that intimacy and estrangement often go hand in hand. What may not be true is that we move so simply and smoothly from one state to the other. And perhaps because of that, the romantic ideal that the movie celebrates feels like a gift. Take your key and open post office box 237 and take me out of my envelope and kiss me. Mr. Crowley, you must... You...